Hi, welcome to my video number three. This time we're going to look at map symbols. So maps carry a wealth of information, but as you may have noticed, there's not that much writing on a map. So we're going to look at how that information is displayed to us as the navigator through map symbols. Each map has a legend printed on it to identify the symbols, a lot like these on this slide here. So you don't need to know every symbol on the map, but it's a good idea to be familiar with the ones that might be applicable to you on your route to help you navigate the mountainous terrain. Most recognisable symbols are usually the tourist information symbols. This is because we often see these on signs in and around the towns. We're always seen as blue symbols on the map, and some of these are vital to look for when planning your hike. Black symbols, as a general rule, will be man-made objects. Some of these are vital for navigation, such as the footpath, boundary lines and footbridges. The colour system then becomes more self-explanatory. We have brown land, blue water, green trees. Perhaps the most important map symbols for us hill walkers are the public right-of-way footpaths and permissive paths. As you can see here, the green indicates public right-of-way and orange indicates permissive paths. This symbol here shows the colour system used to indicate open access land. This is where we're allowed to walk freely. It's really important to know exactly where you're allowed to walk because straying from these areas is trespassing. So make sure you familiarise yourself with your legend and know your footpaths from your boundary lines. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to keep up to date on more mappy videos coming, you can check me out on Instagram. My handle's below.